Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. This is F A C G C E tuning, and this open tuning is an F major 9 chord, and it's a beautiful chord that has this tint of sadness to it, and I think that's what makes it such a special sounding chord. So in this video, I'll show you a straightforward chord progression that any level of guitarist can take and steal and put it in their own songs. And I'll show you some examples of math rock guitarists who are using this chord progression in this tuning to create some awesome ideas, and also we can use those ideas as practice progressions. So this chord progression capitalizes on the sound of this tuning. It begins with a four chord. Yep, that's right, just open like that. And then we've got this next shape here, which is a five chord. Again, pretty easy, right? Then we've got a six chord, so kind of a minor chord. And then we're gonna ascend up to the tonic. And it feels nice and resolved. And those open ringing strings. They just add this familiar sound to each chord, but each chord is slightly different to each other. So it's a wonderful thing, in, in my opinion. And it almost feels like cheating with this open sound. And really easy, <laughs> movable shapes like that. But, you know, why not? Sounds great. And another cool thing is if we remove these open strings and just play the top three notes. some nice alternatives to power chords so when we apply um, a bit of gain we can make some kind of power chord <laughs> stuff basically um... but if we make a slight change to these movable shapes we get these chords that are slightly more detailed and in my opinion just sound a bit more interesting so they are some great alternatives so instead of playing this open shape we're just going to put our uh, finger here instead and then it's kind of just going to come up to here instead but with our next shape so instead of playing we're going to play this i just love that sound the tension that's built up there <laughs> beautiful yet ugly at the same time right and then our little finger is going to come up here so instead of this minor chord we're going to play this shape instead we want to be muting the, the A string here uh, when we're coming up from this one to this one. And the same goes with our last one. Instead of this C, uh, we're going to play, oh, sorry. You get lost in that sound all day, right? And um, there's a nice little trick we can do here as well. We can really catch our listener's ear by throwing in this chord that's not expected in this progression. This one here, right? That sounds like it really needs to be resolved, right? It needs to go somewhere. So, back to the tonic. Ah. get too much into this I must say but um, that borrow chord there wonderful we can do the same as well with the the regular chord shapes that we looked at lovely so let's see this chord progression in action in some actual song examples that we can practice so the first example is a song called smile by the band standards and Marcus Menner in this band he's playing these kind of um, you know, these shapes that we've learned but we're going to remove this, uh, the, the highest note there, and we're just going to play the bottom two instead. And essentially, we've got the same chord there. And in the intro to this song, the pattern is like this. So it comes back down to the, the five here. And then we go up to the tonic. So again. Just like that. And then the cycle repeats again, but he adds this, uh, these dead notes in between for like this funky little rhythm. Okay, 
okay, so it's the same chord progression, same pattern, but now we've got those dead notes, and we've got a bit of um, this funky bit going on here. So only when we're playing this fifth chord here will we do that. So if I play it slowly, So one more time. So there's one chord progression that you could use to practice this chord progression. But do keep in mind there is a capo on the song on the second fret I think it is, or it could be the fourth, uh, you need to check that one. And um, he, Marcus also uses his, um, his middle finger for that Roschiato kind of style. <laughs> So you get that kind of more of a progress, pro, uh, percussive sound that way. Another song that makes use of this chord progression is in a song called Bronco by the band Cover. Yvette Young, she makes use of these, you know, these kind of shapes instead in the progression. Um, this one's great for practicing kind of more of a, an odd kind of feeling rhythm in an odd time signature. to really feel that one as you play it. So you've got the dead notes in between. So that would be another one that you could practice with these chords. So now you know some chords, some variation on chords, and a chord progression that you can take away and steal for your own songwriting. The next thing that you might encounter, the next problem, let's say, is that you might be thinking about, well, how can I write some riffs with these in this tuning, or how can I write some melody along with my chords? Well, if in that case, then I suggest watching this video next, where I'll share a discovery I made that gives a simple system to be able to write ideas in FACGCE tuning headache, well, frustration-free, let's go with that, or without the headache. How about that? <laughs> we'll go with that one at the end there. Anyway, for the Patreons, I've put together a chord chart for you that's got all of these chords, the chord progressions that I gave in the examples, and I've also thrown in some cheeky bonus chords for you there. Just to say thank you for supporting this channel. If you're interested in finding that, there's a link down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.